thing that I want to tell you about is, um, this has happened to me a couple of times. All right, okay. I'm going to talk a lot about my experience as well because nothing is as good as first-hand experience. Okay, and here is a woman telling you her side of the story. So you know, for all you guys who think he patani patani larki ke dimag mein kya chalta hai, so this is a good time for you to know. So I I was meeting this one guy for um. Uh, for a date, okay, and he was very educated and you know spoke well and you know had a good personality. अच्छे का सी बात हुई कॉफी में हम कॉफी के लिए मिले और बातें जब शुरू हुई suddenly this guy started asking me very very closed questions, you know a, a, like a very yes or no kind of questions. Do you like this? कि do you like that? Or I don't like this or I don't like that you know like mujhse wo bahut like he was putting me on a spot and I answered one or two but then later I felt like I was being cornered and it felt as though he's trying to you know check mark in his list ki acha ye pasand hai nahi pasand hai kya isko ye pasand hai if you want to ask something from a woman ask her open and big questions sentences like do you like to do this do you like coffee Do you like traveling, or did you like that you know particular music? Instead of saying that, ask her things like, "What do you feel about this? What do you think about that?" This will make her feel that you are open to her ideas, you are open to her decisions, you are open to her personality. अगर तुमने किसी से पूछ लिया तुम्हें ये पसंद है तो बोलोगे हाँ तो तुम बोलोगे मुझे तो पसंद नहीं है and that gives her you know no room to open up she will just shut down and that's it that's the end of the conversation here is something i'm going to tell you very basic which i think i missed out on telling you in the first episode but i think i'm going to cover it up in tell here be gentle be gentle with her she's a girl she's not a guy okay women are gentle they are feminine and You need to act accordingly. Here is a deal breaker that I'm going to talk about now. So I'm going to tell you about an incident that happened in very brief. Okay, it was a long incident, but I'm going to tell you in brief. This friend of mine had met this, you know, date, and it was the first time. And they didn't know so much about each other at the time. Naturally, they were talking for a little bit, and you know, they were curious. When he met her, it was great. But then he started really complimenting her. After a while, the compliments and flattery didn't stop, and then she got a little creeped out. What have you got to learn from this? What you got to learn from this is, women love flattery. Okay, they like it. They like to be complimented, but please don't fake it. We don't like it. No, and we can tell. Appreciate her on the things that you think are genuinely correct, and she will respect you for that. She will not like unnecessary flattery. She will not like unnecessary compliments. Yeah, zavardasti ke compliments diye ja raha hai, diye ja raha hai, diye ja raha hai. You know, she'll just feel like okay, fine. Like he just wants to get in my pants. Literally, I'm telling you, she will understand that the motive of the you know date is just sex, and then she'll just be off it. She'll be like, fine, whatever. If she's interested in the same, she will respond. If she backs out, you know, you know it why. Um, this last point probably is not, uh, uh, you know, really about verbal communication that this whole module is about. But still, I want to tell you, be chivalrous with her, open doors for her, pull a seat for her if you want to, and um, don't fake it. Don't do it. Zabardasti करने के लिए अच्छा लगता है अगर यू नो इफ इफ अ वुमेन इज यू नो बी ओपन डोर फॉर आज की डेट में हमें कोई शिवरस बंदा ही नहीं मिलता है वी हैव टू डू एवरीथिंग ऑन आवर ओन यू नो व्हिच इज फाइन वी आर इंडिपेंडेंट एंड वी आर स्ट्रांग आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट देयर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडिपेंडेंस एंड स्ट्रेंथ एंड मैनर्स दैट इज व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू श्योर शी इज ग्रेट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट एंड शी इज अ वुमेन फ्रॉम द मेट्रो सिटी But that doesn't mean you lose your manners. It's basic courtesy. It happened with me. I was walking. <laughs> I was. Uh, it was in one of the malls in Delhi, and uh, I was walking behind this this guy. You know, he he walked ahead of me. And naturally, if you're ahead of me and you're opening one of these big doors, a basic tamiz hoti hai ki tum khol rahe ho, tumhare piche koi hai. To matte matte strangers ke liye bhi darwaza khol khol le diye kahi baari. You know, let them walk in. This guy went ahead, opened the door, let it go, and it came and it banged on my head. 
I'm not kidding. It went straight to my head. And I was like, wow, man, this is basic, basic decency, basic decency. You can't miss out on this. Okay. So doors, chairs, you know, open them. No man is less of a man if he is being full of manners. Trust me. Isme tumhari koi male ego hurt nahi hone wali hai. She will only respect you more. She will respect you more. I'm telling you, she will. Or aisa bhi nahi hona chahiye ki tumne shuru kar diya aur acha ek date ke liye kiya. Acha, dusre date ke liye maan gaye, chhod diya. Ki my motive was to get her, uske baad chhod diya. Don't do that. That is cheap. That is really cheap. She will get it. Acha, ek dusri date ko bulane ke liye darwaza khola, ab main aa gayi to ab chhod diya. That should not happen, guys. That is really cheap. She will lose respect for you again. I know all of this sounds very complicated and jhamela, but trust me, I think these are things that um, every man should know. These are just some basics of you know how you treat a woman, okay? And some of this stuff is so common sense that you know it surprises me how men don't don't have the sense to just be a good human being like that stupid idiot guy. I was so irritated, you know. I came all dressed up. you know and this door bangs on my face and there are people around me because that guy you know <laughs> i really want to abuse but that guy you know didn't have the decency and manners to leave the door open for me that's just human decency i mean please don't do that really don't do that so this is a very basics of communication i have told you where a few tips i have given you how to talk to her ask her open ended questions you know learn to listen and avoid long monologues and things like that uh in the next episode i'm going to be talking about body language okay this is the next thing that you know you need to pay attention to the next module is going to be for all the creepy guys who don't know where to draw the line okay don't get offended if i'm calling you creepy because even the men would agree that some guys don't know where to draw the line with body language okay this one will be for you stay tuned